Yo, what's up comfy gang? So I have some good news for you guys. The reason why I haven't been on YouTube this whole time is because I've managed to ascend, get myself a nice job, data entry job despite COVID, and I even managed to get a girlfriend at work. So, you know, everything's working out fine for me. I managed to get a, almost have a six pack by now, like 5% like body fat, and I've been eating pretty clean. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with the overall state of my life, which is why I haven't felt the need to, you know, make videos or anything. I feel like that stuff is kind of a distraction at this point, and I just feel like I've ascended to, uh, you know, I've basically become a Chad. Just kidding. Does this look like the room of somebody who's managed to turn their life around? Yeah, I don't think so. So, uh, jokes aside, um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded my last video, probably like three months almost and as a result of that um I, th I feel like this video is probably gonna be all over the place so um please bear with me until i sort of get my ability to speak and organize my thoughts back but anyways also um uh yeah i know that there probably is a huge backlog of comments and i know i typically um respond to pretty much all of them but um, I feel like it's going to take me a while to do that. And I might, you know, might be replying less and less to comments just because, um, you know, my willpower is decreasing day by day. And um, there are a lot of other things that are sort of occupying my willpower, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, so, yeah, but also I wanted to mention that. I am sorry to those who have expressed some worry about me. I know that a lot of the people that I've talked to on Discord are probably wondering where the hell I've been. And, you know, also people have commented, have sort of expressed some worry about my well-being. And they're probably wondering, you know, what exactly happened to me, rightfully so. Like, maybe I'm sure the thought has crossed some people's minds that maybe, uh, you know, I've done something like, you know, decide to end it and... That isn't the case given that I'm making this video, but, um, yeah, unfortunately, while I do have some good news or some silver lining to what I'm about to talk about, um, I feel like for the most part, this is sort of a bad news video about what exactly happened to me and what I've been doing this whole time. So fortunately, I don't really have any good excuses as to why I basically disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, there's probably a lot of reasons which I'll talk about in future videos, which are more about like, you know, maybe things that I'm dealing with deep inside and things of that nature. But today I'm just gonna talk about like so the sort of fact of the matter, of what exactly happened. And um, I'm talking about this as if, you know, some major, life-changing event <laughs> happened to me, but really it's so much less um, significant, so much more pathetic when you, <laughs> when you honestly look at it because, um, yeah. So well, let's get the, uh, the good news. Let's talk about the good news first. The good news first is that um, I have been focusing on my guitar, you know, a lot actually. And I think this is one of the reasons why it's made it a, a lot harder for me to um, make videos because any sort of willpower that I have left to do productive things was focused entirely on playing guitar. And I'm not saying I'm good. I'm honestly still quite shit, but I feel like with time, um, honestly, I feel like I'm not bad, but I honestly have no accurate way of gauging myself. But anyways, um, I feel like I have put in a lot of work into it. And um, I think that's one positive aspect, one sort of positive thing to take out of this whole, whatever, three months of me really disappearing. Um, and I guess that's pretty much the only good news. Um, so let's get to what actually happened. Uh, so basically, you know how I was talking about um, blocking all the sites and stuff. Well, apparently 
there's a, <clears throat> a million different sites which you can access from which you can access um, anime and given that i blocked off youtube and you know netflix and all of the um and you know none of those movie sites you know <laughs> all legal of course um you know never seemed to work well all, all i was pretty much left with was anime and i needed a, i needed a way to get my dopamine fix so you know obviously my brain was like hey since you can't access any movies since you can't you can't access youtube you know why the hell not it's been a while since you've taken anime seriously so you know i just started watching you know some of the some anime shows that i had it you know maybe dropped or you know hadn't had to finish yet and wanted to finish and you know checked out some of the sort of you know well-liked series like steins gate which a lot of people like and is honestly you know pretty normal wholesome um can't really go wrong with anime it's i people like it and i can definitely understand why i personally really liked it uh <laughs> But, you know, um, for several reasons, which I, I will, you know, go into a whole video about, um, yeah, basically, I really, really enjoyed it. And, you know, you know, once you, once you finish a series that you really enjoy, um, well, you know how it kind of leaves a sort of gaping hole where your, your heart or your soul should be. And you need to fill that by watching another equally good show. Or, yeah, just another show. Not even doesn't even have to be that good. So I just basically this happened again and again. I would jump from series to series, and lo and behold, I basically basically three months blank past, and you know here I find myself. And it honestly, that's the scary thing about Needham is that is that you know rapid passage of time and that's often when we do unproductive you know mind numbing i'm not going to say mind numbing it was honestly pretty stimulating in a way like i feel like anime is pretty interesting art form um but and i hadn't really realized that until now but basically uh three months blinked by uh i think over the course of three months i watched not just watched but binged over a thousand hours of anime. I'd say roughly around maybe eight to 12 hours of anime per day, and probably more in some days to hit that 1000 hour mark, but I've definitely crossed a thousand hours, I'm pretty sure. And um, yeah, obviously, uh, as you guys can probably guess, that really hasn't been, really hasn't been too good for my mental health. Um, and Yes, um, I've basically fallen down the anime rabbit hole, and that's not just in the sense that um, um, it's not just in the sense that I've like just watched this. I'm not just referring to the sheer volume of content that I've consumed. It's more so the fact that you know when you watch anime, you know, it is sort of this funnel, I guess, in a way that sort of pushes you deeper and deeper into uh, more and more, let's just say niche stuff. And um, I'll let you imagine what niche means. But um, yes, I have fallen pretty far down the anime rabbit hole. Uh, if we're referring to the anime iceberg, um, <laughs> I'm definitely far into the middle, in the lower middle regions of it by now, uh, given the stuff that I've watched. Um, if there's sort a sort of event horizon of, you know, being normal and crossing it, making you not normal, I feel like I've pretty much um, basically crossed that event horizon. I'm not going to say I'm a full-on degen yet, but... Uh, I haven't crossed that event horizon yet, but I've definitely reached the point where, you know, given the things that I've watched and given how my tastes have changed, um, I'd say I'm probably a, a sort of 
a pretty avid anime fan. I'm not going to say I'm a otaku or like a weeaboo or anything, but maybe I am, but like a fledgling one. There, there's definitely like far more that I have to consume and watch before I become a full on otaku. But um, I feel like I am possibly on that path just because my tastes and perceptions have been so drastically warped and the things that I used to find so fucking retarded, so stupid. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just sort of, unfortunately, or fortunately, because I don't know, honestly, this shit is fucking lit. Like, I don't want to, I don't know what else to say. Like it's shit is lit, but, um, <laughs> um, yes. Um, as you guys can probably tell, my mental health has basically taken a nosedive as a result of consuming so much anime over such a short duration of time. Um, yes, it is. So honestly, uh, if you're some sort of young neat who's not really into anime, you know, just watch the cookie cutter stuff. Um, I. I'm really at the point where I'm not sure whether, you know, me enjoying the shit that I'm enjoying is based or if it's just, if I've just become a fucking clown and <laughs> to the point where I'm just beyond saving at this point, like, I don't know what else, I don't know how else to characterize the situation, but it's not good, but it feels great at the same time. That's all I'm going to say. And don't worry, I'm not referring to, I'm not suggesting or anything that I've done anything illegal. Um, and I'm probably, I'm probably not on a watch list or anything. Probably, but <laughs> who know? who the fuck knows? Um, but yes, uh, I basically, you know, during this course of addiction of uh, just binging anime, uh, pretty much everything fell to the wayside. Um, and that includes my diet and my exercise and me just taking care of myself. Um, honestly, it, it reached points where I would just, you know, walk over to like that computer over there and watch anime and then lie in bed and then watch anime on a tablet or a laptop and it's just nonstop and you know, it was really comfy and I feel like I have, this is the first time I've ever been so, well, not the first time, but I haven't been this self indulgent in a while. And I know this development, you know, some people might've seen it coming, but for others who I think maybe had, I don't know, faith in me or thought, you know, had hope for, you know, the fact that maybe, I would be the different need, you know, the need that would actually, um, you know, maybe not be retarded, um, not be a complete fucking circus act. Um, this might be coming out of left field for those people. And, um, I think that is partly my fault because I feel like I did sort of try to maybe consciously and unconsciously create this image of me being the sort of the different need, the need that would sort of overcome a situation. That's really what my intentions were at the time. But I think at the same time, I, I feel like I wasn't doing it in the right way because it wasn't authentic. Again, that's something I'm going to talk about in another video, but um, basically, yeah, I just, my true nature bubbled up or not my true nature, but the part of me that I really wanted to suppress and sort of hide and sort of cut away. I feel like whatever I was doing probably wasn't the right way to address things. And, um, you know, my, my degen addict, my addictive personality and my, um, my degen nature really just <clears throat> bubbled to the surface and caused me to, um, basically act in ways which honestly couldn't have foreseen. And yes, this is where we are now. This is the current state of my life. Um, 
oh yeah, and another thing is that um, I feel like overall <clears throat> I definitely have <clears throat> sort of uh, you know regressed back to my hickey my hickey knee ways, which I sort of was at prior to joining Discord. Um, I don't know if some of you would consider me a hickey kamori when I I still do leave my room and still do eat dinner with my parents and still do talk to them, but, uh, and I left the house maybe over the course of this three months, like once to, uh, get to some, you know, family gathering, uh, thing that was, you know, perfectly legal, uh, you know, despite COVID happening, uh, obviously, you know, loopholes and all that, but apart from that, um, I've pretty much haven't talked to anyone else and partly because um partly because of the anime of course and you being addicted and you know also focused on guitar but also partly because i think part of me really just finds it hard to talk to people at the end of the day and i know uh, i'm just running away from my problems i'm running away from the things that i should be facing head on and i know that it's probably not ideal but that's another thing that i'll probably talk about but yeah um basically i become a full-on hickey need maybe i should just change my name to uh comfy hickey but i think comfy need is sort of my name at this point uh so i, I won't be doing that but yeah uh yes i feel like this pretty much sums up the current state of my life and what i've been what I've been doing this whole time. So, uh, yeah, I forget if I mentioned, you know, there being a backlog, a backlog of comments, but I think I've just socially isolated to myself to the point where it's hard for me to even reply to comments at this point. And um, even just, I'm just even afraid to read comments because I don't really want to see what other people have to say about me like um so yeah i will have to face that stuff eventually or maybe i won't but i feel like i do think it's probably the better thing to do so but i mean for the meantime i probably won't be replying to comments for a bit uh maybe just liking them or something but i don't know i think i'm just really lazy and my motivation my motivational systems in my brain or whatever my motivational brain pathways have pretty much been, you know, shot to shit. They've pretty much been just destroyed. Um, and my brain definitely needs some sort of rebalancing if that's even a thing, if that's even possible. So, but yeah, I think I've rambled long enough. I think that pretty much sums up the state of my life currently. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry to those that I've worried and I'm sorry if I turned out to be a massive disappointment to those who expected more of me and uh, to those who, uh, I guess, saw this coming, uh, I don't know, kudos to you, I guess. Um, to those who are actively wishing for my downfall, uh, you know, enjoy the shit show and fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't, obviously I, I really doubt that that's probably just my my mind making up stupid assumptions, although there are maybe one or two people that I've encountered who fit that description. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna end the video now. I'm rambling. This is Company signing out.